After a successful two-week international tour, we are back in the States tonight to continue on the road to Survivor Series. Some of the best from Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown are here tonight in the forum, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for the 2023 Saturday Night's Main Event. Let's kick things off tonight with a little bit of action from Friday Night SmackDown. And the phenomenal AJ Styles has certainly had the blood on his hands as of late, targeting the United States Champion Cody Rhodes eight nights ago on SmackDown. AJ Styles may have a target on his back, but he looks like to seem that he has a target on the United States Championship. Tonight, Styles has his hands full with the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, let's take you back to eight nights ago, SmackDown in London, England. Cody Rhodes successfully defending his United States Championship against the Bruiser White Bush when he was ambushed from behind by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles setting his sights on Cody Rhodes, turning his back on a man we once considered a friend in AJ and Cody. It looks like that friendship is no more, and Styles wants the United States Championship. But first, he's got to prove that he earns an opportunity, deserves an opportunity. And the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, one of the best that SmackDown has to offer, also hungry for opportunity. The crowd reception for AJ Styles might have changed over the last eight days, but the talents inside the ring certainly have not. And with Gallows and Anderson in his corner, Styles may be more dangerous than ever. But will Rey Mysterio come out highly motivated to get a victory and a little bit of payback for his friend, Cody Rhodes? And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Rey Mysterio has been trying to climb the ladder of success on SmackDown again for the last couple of months, trying to find his way to a championship opportunity. Ever since the story between him and Santos Escobar over the Cruiserweight Championship closed back in June, Rey Mysterio has been treading new waters on SmackDown. We've seen him fight some of the best in Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, among others. But unfortunately, Rey is been a little bit unsuccessful as of late on the blue brand. Can he change that tonight with this matchup against AJ Styles to kick things off here on Saturday night's main event? Mysterio hot out of the gate. That big time DDT on Styles. Yeah. Rey Mysterio's gotta watch the numbers game tonight. Gallows and Anderson, two men who we normally could trust, but after the actions of AJ eight nights ago, you gotta believe Gallows and Anderson are gonna do any means necessary to make sure their boy and AJ Styles gets the victory tonight. I wanna thank you for joining us yet again live from the Forum, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of the Milwaukee Bucks, for this special Saturday night's main event production from Raw and SmackDown as the Road to Survivor Series continues. Rey Mysterio getting caught in his tracks there. As AJ Styles now trying to take the momentum in this opening bout represented of Friday Night SmackDown as Styles goes for the crossface. Rey Mysterio trying to break the hold of AJ. AJ like, AJ's looked like he's got it locked in tight. Rey Mysterio still pretty fresh in this matchup. He's gonna keep fighting until he hears a bell. Mysterio off the ropes and a nice drop kick to the side of the dome. Now Mysterio sit down, springboard, moonsault. Will that do it early on? Not just yet, Styles was still into this thing, but Rey Mysterio looking sharp in the opening matchup here tonight in Milwaukee. Saturday night's main event. We've been hyped about this event for weeks on end. The Road to Survivor Series. We are back in the States after an international tour. Styles and Mysterio kicking things off on what is going to be a raucous night of action from Raw and SmackDown. Of course, in your main event tonight, from Monday Night Raw, Tommaso Ciampa and Sheamus set to go one-on-one -on -one in the Deadly Games Eliminator Final. The winner of that matchup will at least be one of Seth Rollins' opponents for the WWE title at Survivor Series. Maybe two if Tyler Bate can defeat Rollins this Monday Night on Raw. 
We'll talk all about that as this night progresses, but watch Mysterio. He's a Hall of Famer for a reason. And it's because of maneuvers like that, Mysterio moves around the ring better than he did 20 years ago. Looking awesome in there against Styles tonight. And Styles may not have been expecting this kind of fight out of Ray. Oh, but he gets caught in his tracks. AJ Styles with a big time lariat. Styles after throwing down the gauntlet to Cody Rhodes eight nights ago, not looking to see defeat. Off the neck breaker. Will that do it? Rey Mysterio's heart still pumping. AJ thought he had the victory there. That was a huge reversal, completely shape-shifting the momentum of this match. Ray trying to get back into this thing here. Styles better watch. Crucifix pinfall to steal the win. Only a one count there. Rey Mysterio not allowing AJ Styles to mount too much offense. Mysterio right back, pedal to the metal. Look at this, using the ropes to his advantage as Mysterio has done throughout his Hall of Fame career. AJ Styles has barely had an answer for the master of the 619 tonight as Mysterio continues to roll, scaling the ropes, beautifully done. And Styles once again taken off his feet and Ray is rolling in this opening match. AJ Styles better get his wits about him or it may be too late because we're in Milwaukee, but Rey Mysterio is bringing the 619. And now Springboard, frog splash by Rey. A victory incoming for the greatest mask of all time. Not just yet, AJ Styles able to survive. A close call after Mysterio threw his best shot. 619 followed up with the frog splash, but unfortunately AJ Styles still got enough life left in him. Oh, look at Mysterio go! Rey Mysterio is not backing down from the challenge tonight. He may be outnumbered technically. But Rey Mysterio has been laser focused throughout this match. AJ, however, catching him off guard. A couple of forearms. And a Pele by the phenomenal one who completely takes the life out of Milwaukee. Oh, wait a minute. Styles, no waste in motion. AJ with the Styles clash. May not have seen a lot of offense in this matchup, but he got enough where it mattered. AJ Styles saw the window of opportunity and took it. Mysterio might have controlled the majority of this contest, but in the end, it's about who gets the hand raised. And unfortunately for Ray, AJ Styles is leaving Milwaukee with a victory. Cody Rhodes has got to be wondering, is AJ Styles hot on his tracks for the US title? Did he just earn himself a future opportunity at the red, white, blue, and gold? Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. A new attitude, but the same abilities from bell to bell. And AJ got the win where it mattered most. He threw down the gauntlet to Cody Rhodes. And now a victory over Rey Mysterio. Or are we looking at the next number one contender for Cody Rhodes United States Championship on SmackDown? Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series live from MSG on November 19th. And who will challenge for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series? We find out later tonight when the Celtic Warrior Sheamus meets the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. But coming up next, 
is the qualifier for the Women's World Championship match on behalf of SmackDown. So far, Shayna Baszler and Candice LeRae have punched their ticket. Who will meet them there? Will it be Shotzi or will it be Raquel Rodriguez? We find out right now in the forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Women's World Championship on its way to SmackDown on November the 19th at Survivor Series, but who is gonna be the women leaving MSG with the gold? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making their way to the ring from Oakland, California. Shotzi! Well, 24 hours ago on SmackDown, Candice LeRae punching her ticket to Madison Square Garden by defeating Zoe Stark. Last week in London, Shayna Baszler with a countout victory over Bianca Belair, but nonetheless punched her ticket to Survivor Series. Two spots remain. It'll be a four-woman elimination contest. So only the last woman standing will be the Women's World Champion. That's coming up at Survivor Series Sunday night, November the 19th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The Fall Classic. Cannot wait to get to Madison Square Garden. The ballsy badass Shotzi knows what it's like to hold championship gold. It was this time last year that she was preparing for a WWE Women's Championship match against Asuka at Survivor Series, which she was successful in in becoming the champion. Might have been a short-lived reign for Shotzi. Expired about six weeks later. But nonetheless, last year at Survivor Series, Shotzi left the TD Garden in Boston with the WWE Women's Championship. Could this year be the same with the Women's World Championship? All remains to be seen, but first things first, the ballsy badass has got to get through Raquel Rodriguez. And Raquel is coming into this match highly motivated for championship gold. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Well, you know, for months, Shayna Baszler ran a rough course on Raw and SmackDown as the WWE Women's Champion. But well, one woman who a lot of people speculated may have had her number was Raquel Rodriguez. The physical presence of this woman may have been enough to keep Shayna Baszler down in that one-on-one, -on -one, quote-unquote, fair fight. Of course, Shayna lost her title back in September at No Mercy when she was cashed in on by Rhea Ripley. But in the end, Shayna Baszler now with a new opportunity coming up at Survivor Series and both of these women on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown looking for the same result. Certainly a big time opportunity on the line here at Saturday night's main event as there is all night long here in the form in Milwaukee. The ballsy badass Shotzi, one of the up and comers of the blue brand, Raquel Rodriguez. Survivor Series spot is on the line. Who's gonna capitalize? Again, Candice LeRae defeating Zoe Stark last night in Glasgow, Scotland on SmackDown. Eight nights ago in London, Shayna Baszler. Defeating Bianca Belair, I'll bite via count out, but in the end got the victory. So who will join her? Will it be Raquel? Will it be Shotzi? And of course, next week on SmackDown, we'll see the final qualifying matchup as EO Sky battles Candice LeRae's tag team partner in Indy Hartwell. Very interesting situation there as Shotzi with the drop kick on Raquel. And we talked about Shotzi leaving Survivor Series last year. As the WWE Women's Champion was also last year at Survivor Series that Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell walked away with the now retired WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. All those women looking to go back to back years successful at the Survivor Series event and Shotzi willing to put any means necessary on the line to try to punch her ticket to the world's most famous arena. Raquel Rodriguez with other plans, however, sidestep and sends the ballsy badass back inside the squared circle. Opportunity for Survivor Series on the line in this match. And an opportunity on behalf of Monday Night Raw on the line in the main event tonight. Milwaukee has the powerhouse of this contest. Raquel with that fall away slam on Shotzi. Raquel has obviously got the size and strength advantage in this match, but Shotzi is a scrapper. She has fought the best of them, she has beat some of the best of them, and she is a WWE Women's Champion in the past, something Raquel cannot say over Shotzi. Maybe that misstep will be enough, not just yet. Can't take nothing away from Raquel Rodriguez, however, slowly but surely has been climbing the mountain on Friday Night SmackDown this year. As a participant in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match back in July, now has an opportunity 
to possibly hold the Women's World Championship. But first, she's got to try to come back in this matchup as Shotzi is well in control at the moment and comes from the top rope somewhere Shotzi is very comfortable and gets the two with the strength of Raquel to power out and get that kick out there. Now Raquel with the counter. Wait a minute, here comes that strength playing a factor. Oh my, oh my goodness! The whiplash on Shotzi off that maneuver. How that wasn't it beats me. Shotzi just went for a 360 ride in the ring courtesy of Raquel Rodriguez. And somehow the ballsy badass still in this matchup. Credit where credit's due. There's no way she is fully aware of her surroundings right now and especially not after being ragdolled from one corner to another. Oh, don't count out Shotzi. It's well documented that we called Shotzi the breakout star of 2022. That was for good reason. It's from fighting uphill battles like this. Even though Raquel might have that size and strength advantage, it might be fair to say Shotzi the favorite in this matchup because of her more experienced time at the top of the mountain in the women's championship division. Well, it remains to be seen at the end of the day who's going to get the best of one another in this contest and who will join Candice LeRae and Shayna Baszler under the bright lights of Madison Square Garden. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum starts to swing as Raquel dropping the elbow. Shotzi down and out momentarily. Rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, and Raquel firmly in control of this matchup at the current moment. Could get a count out victory similar to Shayna Baszler. I don't think Raquel is interested in that. I think this woman wants a decisive win if she is going to get that, at, that is. Nice sidewalk slam and Shotzi, wait a minute, in trouble. Tahana bomb by Raquel Rodriguez into the cover. Nowhere to run as Shotzi falls to the stronger woman tonight. Well, Raquel Rodriguez finally seeing a door of opportunity and kicking it down with emphatic force tonight at Saturday night's main event in Milwaukee, and she's on her way to Madison Square Garden. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. A huge victory for Raquel tonight, overcoming a former women's champion in the ballsy badass Shotzi. And now Raquel joins Candice LeRae and Shayna Baszler in the four-woman elimination matchup, November the 19th at Survivor Series for the WWE Women's World Championship. The who will secure the final spot? We find out next Friday night as Candice LeRae's tag team partner, Indy Hartwell, goes one-on-one -on -one with EO Sky. That's coming your way next Friday night on SmackDown. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series, live from MSG on November 19th. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, Sunday night, November the 19th, Madison Square Garden Survivor Series, and what a night it is going to be for the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic. Representing Friday Night SmackDown and their portion of the main event, it is for the World Heavyweight Championship, Drew McIntyre, Guther, two titans of the blue brand will collide for the big gold belt, November the 19th. As we found out last night on SmackDown, a traditional Survivor Series elimination match is on hand. Austin Theory leads his team. Edge will lead his team. Coming up at Survivor Series, what a matchup that's gonna be. Also coming your way in Madison Square Garden, officially signed, the United States Championship is at stake. AJ Styles gets his wish as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. 
And of course, we know the Cruiserweight Championship. Set to be defended, Santos Escobar, hot off the heels, retaining his title over Noam Dar last night. But he will meet the Cruiserweight Classic winner, Ilya Dragunov, in the middle of the world's most famous arena. Let's take it to the action inside the forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Saturday night's main event continues forward as one half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, has got his hands full with said number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The man who won the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic and by default officially became a participant of the Friday Night SmackDown roster, the invincible Mad Dragon himself, Ilya Dragunov, looking to keep his momentum red hot after winning the CWC, debuting on SmackDown against Drew Gulak a few Mad weeks ago. Ilya Dragunov has taken the WWE by storm over the last 12 months since joining Monday Night Raw, coming up to the main roster, winning the Intercontinental Championship earlier this year at WrestleMania. Defended it for months on end against the likes of Shinsuke Nakamura, Butch, Tyler Bate, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods, among others. And of course, once Dragunov lost that title, he turned his sights to the CWC where he went through four rounds of grueling competition only to succeed in the finals against SmackDown's Johnny Gargano. And again, by default, Dragunov joining the blue brand roster and now gets his date with destiny Sunday night, November the 19th. World's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, Ilya Dragunov, Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. That was gonna be one hell of a matchup coming up on one of the biggest events of 2023 in itself at Survivor Series. But tonight, Dragunov's gotta stay focused. If he wants that momentum to be on course, laser focus is what he needs to be against Humberto Carrillo. This matchup kicking off here to continue us forward. Milwaukee, Wisconsin's been rocking all night long for this special Saturday night's main event production on behalf of SmackDown and Monday Night Raw. Look at Dragunov, hot out of the gate, big time, springboard, Lariat, taking Carrillo off his feet. Humberto impressed in the CWC, that's for sure. Him and Ricochet tore it up in the first round a couple of months ago in Manhattan, New York. But in the end, Humberto Carrillo came up short. This is a huge opportunity for him tonight, going one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. And all it takes is an upset by Carrillo. A 1-2-3, Humberto getting his hand raised, and he could easily catapult himself to the front of the line for whoever leaves Survivor Series as the Cruiserweight Champion. And there you go, Humberto, just a couple of maneuvers, sees results, but unfortunately not watching where Ilya Dragunov's whereabouts were, and a crash and burn for one half of Los Lotharios. Dragunov with a nice take over there to take the momentum back. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Santos Escobar just 24 hours after successfully defending his title in that open challenge against the Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar. You gotta believe Escobar, his momentum, his confidence at an all-time high as the Cruiserweight Champion. In the midst of his third reign with that title, he's held it since this past May. Defended against Rey Mysterio, J.D. McDonough, Chad Gable, not once but twice. Again, Noam Dar just last night on SmackDown, but can he get through Ilya Dragunov on November the 19th? And can Dragunov get through Humberto Carrillo tonight? As Carrillo scales the ropes, and Ilya Dragunov just trying to get his wits about him here. Big time missile drop kick lands on the button. Dragunov able to get to his feet, but at what cost? As Humberto trying to keep his foot on the gas, however, Dragunov had it scouted here. Here comes the Mad Dragon himself, taking Humberto off his feet. Never count out Ilya Dragunov. He's taking the WWE by storm for a reason. Former Intercontinental Champion, CWC winner, looking to add more gold to his resume. November the 19th at Survivor Series. And down goes Humberto Carrillo off the Torpedo Moscow. And that'll do it. Ilya Dragunov with a big time victory tonight in Milwaukee.
Well, Alberto Carrillo, given this match all he had, but clearly Ilya Dragunov laser focused on victory and his momentum red hot on the road to Survivor Series. Ilya Dragunov looking sharp, but will he leave MSG as the Cruiserweight Champion? In the trenches. Well, coming up in moments, it is the Deadly Games Eliminator Finals. This past Monday night, Sheamus defeating Kevin Owens and Sol Sokoa. Tommaso Ciampa defeating Shinsuke Nakamura and Karrion Cross. Who will punch their ticket to Survivor Series? But the big question, will it be a one-on-one -on -one or will it be a triple threat match come November the 19th? Because this coming Monday night on Raw, Tyler Bate, who has scored not one, but two victories over Rollins in recent history, gets one more crack at gold. And if he can defeat Rollins, then the Survivor Series triple threat matchup for the WWE Championship will be a go. High stakes, high reward, not only tonight, but as well as this Monday night on Raw. But nonetheless, we are live from the Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for Saturday night's main event, Deadly Games Eliminator Finals, and it is fight night for the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus has had two opportunities at Rollins. Will the third time be a charm if he can get through Champa? The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! An unforgiven Sheamus fell to Seth Rollins at Clash of the Castle in a brutal last man standing matchup. It was the same result. But will Sheamus, if he can get through Champa tonight, get that one more meeting with Seth Rollins and be able to capitalize. Could the third time be a charm? Will the luck be with the Irish if Sheamus can get that momentum and get that opportunity November the 19th at Survivor Series? Or will the victor be this man, the Blackheart of Monday nights? And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa! Yeah. Well, Tommaso Ciampa fighting out of familiar soils tonight. From right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, his people behind him. And Tommaso Ciampa, who has been climbing a ladder on Monday Night Raw over the last few months, looks at the biggest opportunity of his career tonight. Could Ciampa be going one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship? for the very first time in his career. All remains to be seen in his main event time here in Milwaukee. Bell has sounded and we are underway. Champa, Sheamus, and hide under the gate, the action goes. WWE Championship opportunity is at stake. We started with six men. We are down to two. And of course, the X Factor of Tyler Bate, who may be joining the championship affairs at Survivor Series if he can go three for three against Rollins this Monday night. Remains to be seen what happens there. But tonight is about Champa and it is about Sheamus. And one of these men, regardless of if it's one on one or a triple threat, will challenge for the WWE title at Survivor Series. Sheamus came high out of the gate off the opening bell. It may have costed him. Sheamus might have handed the momentum on a silver platter to the Blackheart, Tommaso Champa. Sheamus able to survive. Tommaso Champa over the last year and change in WWE. Holding the Intercontinental Championship, holding the World Tag Team titles. And then when he was split apart from his tag team partner, Johnny Gargano, in the draft back in March, Champa started from the bottom on Monday Night Raw and has worked his way to this opportunity tonight. Will the ladder of success continue to move in Champa's favor? Or is Sheamus just coming out with the luck of the Irish on his side? Was able to get the win in his hometown of Dublin, Ireland this past Monday night. But now tonight making the trip to Champa's backyard of Milwaukee. Who is it gonna favor? Sheamus with this big time backbreaker on Champa right now. Champa reaving in pain by the powerhouse of this match in the discus lariat. Champa able to take this snot-nosed Celtic warrior off his feet momentarily, but it didn't last long. 
Champ able to survive. And again, Sheamus with that grueling last man standing matchup. Just less than two weeks to go against Seth Rollins and Cardiff Wales clash in the castle. And it was really his own anger that blinded Sheamus near the end of that matchup. So hell bent on retribution that may have costed him in the end and his chances, chances excuse me, to become WWE champion. However, Sheamus not looking to make any mistakes tonight. Big time power slam on the outside of the ring. It's Tommaso Ciampa feeling the brunt of Sheamus' desire to become champion. Ciampa may be fighting out of familiar soils tonight, but Sheamus with a decorated history with Seth Rollins, possibly the rivalry of the year in 2023. Sheamus is looking for a third round and he's looking for a third and final opportunity against Seth freaking Rollins. Fucking Champa back to the outside and continuing the offense. And Sheamus is all over Champa. First, Tommaso had the momentum in this match off a misstep by the Celtic Warrior, but Sheamus has flipped into a new gear and is completely manhandling Tommaso Champa. Sheamus now goes to the top rope and going for an elbow drop of that uncharacteristic maneuver. Did not pay Sheamus dividends. Now Champa with a high knee. Into the cover. May do it, not just yet. Remember, not only this past Monday on a Raw were these two men successful in their various triple threat matches in the Deadly Games Eliminator, but seven nights prior to that, Tommaso Champa defeating Karrion Cross in that London street fight. Back to back victories for the Black Heart on Raw. But will that momentum bleed into another victory here tonight against Sheamus at Saturday night's main event? Sheamus on the top, Tommaso Ciampa on his tail. And things about to go from bad to worse. And a superplex by Tommaso Ciampa. Sheamus down dead center of the ring and Tommaso Ciampa is beginning to rally here in Milwaukee. We would never count out the Celtic Warrior. In a matter of a second, able to get back the momentum at least temporarily as Ciampa not allowing the mount by Sheamus. Couple of shots of his own. This main event coming to you on behalf of Monday Night Raw, and it's a matchup that'll drastically impact the WWE Championship affairs of Survivor Series. And I can't wait to see this coming Monday Night, the champion himself, Seth freaking Rollins. He has been defeated not once, but twice by the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, in recent memory on Monday Night Raw. And if Tyler Bate can do it again this week, It'll, it'll become a triple threat in Madison Square Garden. As Champ almost had Sheamus there, but Sheamus able to kick out. Gotta wonder what Champ and Sheamus are thinking. First they thought maybe a one-on-one -on -one match if they can get through the Deadly Games Eliminator. Now the X Factor of Tyler Bates. So many people have been gunning for the WWE Championship. Remember the whole reason we had this Deadly Games Eliminator was because the original number one contender Bobby Lashley, the man who was originally set to face. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. Hold that thought, Champa. Down goes Sheamus. Off the double knees, to the back. Oh, but the Celtic Warrior still in a close call for Champa there. Almost had his ticket to New York City punched. Now Champa trying to continue the momentum, but Sheamus rolling him over in a couple of stiff forearms. Well, as we were mentioning, Bobby Lashley originally was supposed to be the man fighting Seth Rollins at Survivor Series. Sol Sokoa taking out Lashley, leading to this Deadly Games Eliminator, which has led us to the finals here tonight. Sheamus and Ciampa with a huge opportunity. Neither man looking to see it slip through their fingers. Ciampa almost had Sheamus a few moments ago, and it may have lit a fire under the Celtic Warrior. A sense of urgency now. Off the leapfrog, off the down. And a took to world backbreaker dead center of the canvas, leading to a cover. And will that be enough? Not just yet, Champ is still in this thing. This is a bruising main event between two tough fighters on Monday Night Raw. Gotta wonder what Seth Rollins is thinking right now, which man he would prefer to meet at Survivor Series. Does he feel more confident against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, knowing that he's beat him twice before, or maybe 
Tommaso Ciampa, who hasn't been to the main event just yet. Tommaso Ciampa dropping Sheamus on the apron with a huge DDT, completely changing the momentum of this match. And Sheamus on a knee and gets met with one by a flying Blackheart. Take nothing away from Ciampa. He may not have been to the main event of Monday Night Raw just yet, but he's a former Intercontinental Champion, former World Tag Team Champion. Don't forget about his success down in NXT. Was the face of the brand as the NXT Champion at one point. And he's looking to find that same result on Monday Night Raw as he comes diving through the sky and taking out Sheamus in the middle of Milwaukee. Business is picking up in your Saturday night's main event. Champ on the apron, Sheamus now. All oh, getting ragdolled off the apron. Watch out for Champo with a cactus elbow. Right to the heart and possibly to the desires and the dreams of the Celtic warrior. Champa not done. Oh, going for a second cactus elbow, but went to the well too many times and it might have cost him. Sheamus had it scattered on the second time and now Champa getting hung up in the barricade. Champa might have bit off more than he can chew off that maneuver. And just like how Sheamus' own anger and frustration blinded him at Clash of the Castle, leading to an unfortunate defeat, was that the result for Champa? That misstep might have handed Sheamus the victory as Sheamus is just continuing this brawling fight on the outside of the squared circle. Champa reeling in pain, referee. A count of six, I believe, as the Celtic Warrior sends the Blackheart back inside the ropes. Now, once again, Sheamus scaling the ropes. It has not worked out for him throughout this matchup, and it doesn't again. Another misstep. And Champa looking to take advantage with a very tail ending. Into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Sheamus is still alive. Tommaso Champa off the misstep. Caught Sheamus in an uncarious situation. A fairy tale ending in the middle of the canvas. However, the fairy tale for Tommaso Ciampa yet to be written. Sheamus down in the middle of the squared circle as Tommaso Ciampa trying to keep his momentum red hot. Milwaukee, Wisconsin behind him. Will it be a huge homecoming victory for Ciampa tonight? Bringing Sheamus to his feet. And whipping that dead weight into the corner, the Celtic Warrior might have survived the fairy tale ending. Well, I was about to say, I don't know how much more he's got in him, but there's a reversal there. Never count out the Celtic Warrior, that's for damn sure. As he's got his eyes locked on the black heart. And what has Sheamus got in mind here? Possibly going for a white noise. Champa with a reversal and a big time bicycle knee. And Champa strutting his stuff in the middle of the form. He's got to stay focused on the task at hand. Don't let this hometown crowd rile up Champa too much because it may allow Sheamus to come back. And that is what we are seeing right now. A rally of the Celtic Warrior. Tommaso Champa is now down. Flat on his back, staring up at the lights of the forum. And Sheamus for a third time in this match scales the ropes. And this time, Alex for a knee, right to the heart. Possibly the throat of Ciampa. And that high risk maneuver is a high reward for the Celtic Warrior. And that great white soared through the sky, finally got his wish on the delivery. And now Tommaso Ciampa may be seeing stars. Rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance. However, it's Sheamus closing the gap. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this, sit down power bomb on the outside of the ring by Sheamus. Sheamus kicking things into a new gear tonight. Going to a place that he might not enjoy going to, digging down deeper, pulling out different tricks out of the hat. Doing whatever means necessary to beat down Tommaso Ciampa, a man who has had wars inside of the ring and punch his one possible one last chance to fight Seth Rollins for the WWE title. Back inside the ring, Ciampa goes, not by will, but by force. Sheamus has turned this match on his head. 
Ragdolling Champa once more off the gut wrench. Into the cover to go to Survivor Series. Not just yet, Champa still into it. And what a deadly games eliminator final this has been. Champa trying to spring to his feet, however, gets caught by the Great White as Sheamus whips off a weakened opponent. And another tilt to world backbreaker. Just going to the well with what works. All about inflicting the punishment. As Sheamus just trying to wear down Champa. But Champa's still got some life left in him. Throwing some closed fist. Again, trying to create that distance, but Sheamus not allowing it. Another failed reversal attempt by Tommaso. Are you not entertained? Yeah, what a main event tonight here at Saturday night's main event. Thank you for joining us once again here in Milwaukee. As Sheamus off the top again with the knee. Sheamus may be nearing victory as he now institutes a series of elbows to the already possibly beaten, broken, and certainly black heart of Tommaso Ciampa. Sheamus still hungry for that retribution ever since Rollins put him on the shelf and cost him several months of his career back in the summer. Looking for the third time to be a charm at Survivor Series. However, a misstep, and Tommaso Ciampa with the hangman's neckbreaker. Quick reversal by Tommaso. Can he take advantage? Kick to the gut, muscles up Sheamus. Backbreaker again. Tommaso Ciampa is coming alive. And will the fairy tale ending lead to a fairy tale victory? A cover. Tommaso Ciampa is going to Survivor Series. What a victory for the black heart of Monday Night Raw with his back up against the wall and his hometown crowd behind him. Tommaso Ciampa rallies in the end, takes Sheamus off his feet on multiple occasions and a second fairy tale ending leads to the biggest victory of Tommaso Ciampa's career. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa will challenge for the WWE Championship Sunday night, November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. The Deadly Games Eliminator started with six. And now we have your sole survivor, Tommaso Ciampa versus Seth Rollins, at least for now, for the WWE title. But will this singles affair become a triple threat? We find out in just 48 hours on Monday Night Raw. The big strong boy Tyler Bate has defeated Rollins once. He did it again, but can he go three for three and make the Survivor Series title match a triple threat? We find out this coming Monday night on Raw. Thank you for joining us here on Saturday Night's Main Event, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody, from Milwaukee. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.